Sunday night. And no roommate. I think I'm going to have three weeks at Hippocrates with my own room that I really, really had desired anyway, but was willing to sacrifice. And um, I think God just answered that prayer. <laughs> um, I really have enjoyed and needed my own space, so that's been huge. And I'm really grateful. Um, watch somebody knock on the door, it would be funny. Uh, today I got up and went to church and it was a beautiful, beautiful meeting. The sacrament talks were amazing and um, just very real. It was a special ward. I forget the name of the ward. I have it written in my journal somewhere, but I could just really feel the spirit and I went prepared. I had been praying. I started praying yesterday about church today and it made a huge difference um you know my life is pretty simple it's be here do what they say and try and heal your body so I have felt very focused on the spirit and prayer and it doesn't mean I've been great at it but I've had the opportunity without the other distractions to focus in on it um Yesterday, I also felt like I should ask for a priesthood blessing. So today, at right as sacrament was starting to close, so I went in saying, okay, I'm going to ask the bishop for a priesthood blessing. And as the sacrament was hour was ending, the thoughts started coming, the, you know, the opposition started coming in. Don't ask. He's busy. He doesn't know you. He doesn't know your situation. Excuse me. You'll be home in a week. Um, just ask your dad when you get home and I'll be darned if that opposition is not just right there. I did anyway, and it was a really beautiful blessing. Um, um, what did I want to say about today? I spent some time reading a lot of time in spiritual things today since it's Sunday journaling, wrote in my journal, reflecting um, on, you know, what's next. My tumor is still here, and I'm not sure if that doesn't scare me. I'm not sure if it discourages me yet. I can't say. Um, there's probably a hint of that because it's been two weeks of like very regimented, but um, what I don't know is if the next step is for me to, in faith, call down the blessing of healing, of like, Lord, heal my body, you know? Not a command, that's the wrong word, but that idea. Or if I'm supposed to go for another treatment route um, I'm not sure yet if it's, you know, the faith to go on another treatment or if it's the faith to be very specific in saying, heal this, dissolve it, help me. Um, I'll be praying about that this week and fasting actually this week about what kind of where I feel led. And then I'm done Saturday, graduation Friday, Saturday drive back to Orlando. Crazy. Um, I'm committed to the final week to sticking it out. Um, I'm going to bed with just a very peaceful feeling, a lot of gratitude for the things that the Lord is teaching me, for just being on a different wavelength than just the physical, you know? Because that could get really discouraging because I still have a tumor and it. it's a lot of money here and you put so much effort and you eat this way and you're very strict and then, my gosh, I still have a tumor. Like, that could be really discouraging. But I've grown so much spiritually and emotionally and mentally and I'm on just a totally different focus that 
I have peace and I know that this, the, the actual physical tumor of it, is not the point. That's not the point. It's so much bigger than that. Um, so I'm grateful for that. And yeah, good Sunday. <laughs>